Grill Sergeant here. What's going on, Grill Billies? What did the buffalo say to his son when he was going off to college? Bye, son. <laughs> All right, horrible dad joke, I know. But in today's episode, we are going to redeem it with an awesome bison steak. We're going to be doing it on the Pit Boss Pro Series 1150, and I'm going to be using Pit Boss's Trophy Blend pellets. The Trophy Blend uses a mixture of red oak, white oak, and hickory to bring just a nice, nice flavor. Now, Pit Boss's Trophy Blend was designed for game, and a lot of people are actually afraid to try bison because they're like, it's going to taste too gamey. But trust me, if you try bison steak, it is so good. There is like no gaminess to it. It's just like when Joe Rogan talks up elk meat, it's just, it's full of flavor. It is gonna be the best thing ever. All right, so let's fire up this pit boss and let's start the show. Alright, while the smoker is heating up, let's prep this bison steak. As far as seasonings go, I am going to be using Pit Boss's Chop House Steak Rub. This is a rub, if you ever use like Montreal steak seasoning, it's very similar to that. Game meat, and with bison, you really just want to keep it simple. Salt, pepper, Pit Boss's Chop House Steak Rub kind of brings it up to another level where it, it you will have like onion and paprika in there and a little bit of garlic. Without further ado, let's open this up. Uh, this is a bison top sirloin steak that I just found at my local grocery store. We'd have definitely enough smoke coming out of the smoker, so I'm going to just close that up and let that come up to temperature. So here is our beautiful cut of meat, and so now we're basically just going to start throwing on some seasoning. And again, you don't have to go super crazy on this. You really want the meat to speak for itself, but and usually I'll just give it a nice pat down. And we'll come up here and we'll get the sides as well. Sometimes if you actually just spray sprinkle the seasoning on the board, you can then kind of press down and it coats in. All right, now that the bison is seasoned up, we're gonna bring the smoker up to 250. You can treat it just like you would a steak. So if you like your steak medium rare, you can cook the bison to medium rare. I'm gonna put a probe in it. Once she hits 120, I'm gonna pull the bison steak and then we're gonna crank the pit boss up. And then we're gonna open up the searing plate and get some nice searing action, just like what you would on a steak. And then we'll let it rest and we'll carve in and oh man, I cannot wait. While we're waiting for the smoker to come up to temp, you gotta stay hydrated, you know that. Today's beer is by Belching Beaver and this is their No Worries IPA. And this is a West Coast style. Now, if you're a fan of this show, you know that I'm all about hazy IPAs, but I'm from California. You know you gotta represent the West Coast IPA. So this IPA is straight up delicious. So cheers guys. I'm not sponsored by them, I swear. But that'd be totally cool if I did, you know? Heck, chilling and grilling. <laughs> so let me know in the comments, have you ever had bison? I have yet to meet someone that's tasted it and it's like, oh, I can't stand it, it's too gamey. I've literally not met one person. But you could be watching it and you could be that one person, so let me know. But if you're like me and you've had it, you're like, dude, it is awesome. Then chime in because I want people to know that, dude, try bison it's so freaking good all right our smoker's up to temp so let's get this bison on the grill take my probe basically you just want it going into the center of the steak all right and now it's pretty much just waiting game so we're really not going by time right now we're just waiting for the internal temperature to reach 120 degrees then i'm going to pull it We'll crank this smoker to as hot as she can get. We'll open up the sear gate and we're just gonna sear each side and then we're gonna let it rest and we're gonna carve in. It's gonna be so good. So we'll tune back in when we're pulling the bison off. All right, she hit 120, so let's get her off the grill. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull this probe out. And we're 
are going to get her off the grill. Have a little Tupperware thing right here. That's just gonna help her keep her warm because it is midnight and it is freezing out here. So now I'm gonna close down this lid. We're going to crank this bad boy up all the way. And in about five minutes when she's piping hot, we're gonna open up the side sear plate and let the flames give a nice sear on it. We'll let it rest for a little bit. Uh, the hardest part is just that last rest when you're like, let the juices soak back into the center of the meat, but it's worth it. Look at that, we're almost there already. Good Lord, this thing heats up fast. All right, we are up to temp, so let me open up this firebox. Let's sear it up. Ooh, listen to that sound. That is awesome. So we're gonna be searing it about one minute per side. Just, you know, get that Maillard reaction going on. There ain't no better sound than a steak sizzling on the grill. If you can think of better sounds, leave it in the comments, but I'd be hard pressed, you know what I'm saying? One minute, 37 seconds later. Let's get this steak off so it can rest. We're going to pull her right here. Just let her rest. So we'll tune back in when we're slicing in. Woo! All right, it is my favorite time. Let's dive in. The smell right now is just out of this world. It just, it smells so good. So let's check out what we got here. Look at that. All right, let's cut this up. all that juice all right taste test time let's get into it Ooh. sound like gunshots <laughs> welcome to la <laughs> flavor is so on point oh so good oh and I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the Trophy blend. It was a very, very mild smoke. Again, you're using just the oak. So it's it's very subtle. It's there, but it's it, do, it lets the meat speak for itself. It definitely has a slight smokiness to it, but definitely doesn't overpower the flavor and texture of the actual bison. And along with the rub too, the rub it's, it's one of those rubs where it helps add flavor, but it really doesn't take away from the flavor of the bison. So, bison. <laughs> have to go in here again. Well, that wraps up this episode. If you can find bison at your local supermarket, definitely give it a try. Treat it like a steak and you will be so blown away at how delicious this is. Any questions, leave in the comment section. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing to this channel because all we're about backyard barbecue fun. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, Grill Sergeant out. It's like 12.30 in the morning right now. I need to get to bed. So, Avita Zane. Vamanos. <laughs> But seriously, thank you for watching. And if you are still watching, leave a number four in the comments so I can know the people who really watch this video at the end. You guys are the OG ones, all right? I don't know why I said four, but whatever. Just, just, just do it. Just do as you're told. Come on. That's an order. Grill Sergeant out.